Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Ajax with Django. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I have created a simple Django project here uh, and an application named Pages uh, uh, which has the logic of, you know, uh, I'll just show you it in the browser. We have a, just a simple contact form in here and if I do some, uh, say some, you know, write some blunder data in here and if I do submit, then, you know, it just uh, saves those data, those objects into the database and just redirects to the same page itself. Now, if I look into the Django administration panel, I'll get that same object right in here. So this is the basic idea behind the, uh, you know, the whole application. Now, what we want to accomplish is something like this one. So if I type in some uh, uh, custom data in here, like, you know, those Blender data and click on submit, then it says a JavaScript alert being in success message. So uh, this is what we are going to be accomplishing. And if I go to the administration panel again, I'll get that same object being saved into the database. So uh, what we are going to be doing is in the project, we have a model named contact, uh, which has all those fields and a simple model form, uh, contact model form, I should say. And uh, in the views.py, I have that uh, simple uh, logic. Uh, if, if it is post request, then I'll just save those uh, th that object into the database and just redirect to the same page itself. And I have set those corresponding URLs right in here. So this is the whole uh, application structure. So what I want to do is, you know, in the contact.html, by the way, I'm using jQuery, uh, you know, to uh, trigger the Ajax. And uh, this one is the CDN is required. And I'm using, uh, by the way, Bootstrap uh, for the styling and all. And so does these scripts at the bottom. So uh, the uh, logic I'm, I'm going to do is in the form, whenever I submit the form, I'll just you know trigger an Ajax to the uh, to some URL and you know the server will uh, if the if the form is valid then the server will return some response and according to the response I will just send you know uh, those alert messages so I'll just add in a script right in here right the right at the bottom and I want to you know bind this form to an even listener so I'm using just a regular JavaScript I'm I'm, I'm fetching. Uh, that form object right in here so I'll say document dot get element by ID now the ID is um, form itself so I'll just write form now in here I will just you know do an add event listener I will add a submit uh, event and if that event is triggered then I will call you know let me say it as a submit handler function so with that being said now uh, I'll just create the, uh, that uh, very own submit handler function right at the bottom submit handler and which will receive the event by default and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just you know preventing the default action of uh, that form uh, submission which means you know the form will not get submitted so uh, with that being said now what i have to do is you know i have to make an ajax request so i'll use jquery for that so i'll just say dollar dot ajax and in here i'll just pass an object and this object has all those you know information about this request this very own ajax request so i'll specify the type now the type is nothing but you know if it is get or paused using post request and that's the most probable one and um, then uh, the next one the next attribute is the URL uh, which means you know which URL to hit the post request so in here I will just say you know uh, we'll use the Django template syntax in here I'll just say URL contact now this contact is nothing but you know uh, the, the name of the URL you know the, the only URL we have available for this one and uh, that URL will be you know hit by this post request now the next one is you know the data okay the form data we want the form data to you know 
uh, to be at the server side to uh, you know process those form data there in the server so we'll, we need to send that data in this request in this ajax request so the data being you know i'll use you know jquery right in here to fetch that form with an id of form and i'll just you know uh, call a serialized method which you know which uh, takes in all those uh, data all those form data like we have you know uh, the name and email and message fields and you know it just you know uh, you know it just binds those data into you know uh, an understandable format by the server so with that being said now the next one is the data type which is nothing but you know uh, the what type of data do we expect back from the server so if you are sending you know uh, uh, some HTTP response in the uh, views uh, if the form is valid or if you are sending some JSON data so that's what is you know the uh, data type itself so I'll just say um, I'll send JSON data by the way so I'll just say JSON and with that being said now the last one I'm gonna do is you know the success attribute which is nothing but if the address request is success then what shall I do so in this case what I have done is you know if you click then the submit button then it will just you know alerts you know that you know the uh, contact is successful or the uh, form is submitted so just a plain alert now this success attribute will receive a function uh, so I'll just you know uh, write an anonymous function which will receive the you know the data from the server and I'll name you know it as MSG or probably I'll, I'll name it as data so which means you know whatever we send from the uh, from the server will be right in this data uh, you know uh, attribute so uh, or I should say the data argument now in here I'll just you know say if uh, you know data dot msg now this data will be an object so i can access its properties using uh, msg uh, sorry using the dot operator and i will you know send those msg right in the server and you know you don't have to bother it now if data dot msg is equal to equal to success then uh, i shall say it as like you know i just want this to be wrapped in a parenthesis and if it is success then i will just do a quick alert now this uh, triple equal to is the issue there now i'll just alert that the form is submitted just a simple one now this is how about the logic in here now what i could possibly do is in in this one in the views uh, you know i will you know whenever i submit the form you know this function will catch that and you know it, it will send the ajax request right into this url uh, this uh, contact url which is this one now in here i'll just comment all the stuff in here and i'll just say like you know if request dot we have a method built-in method known as you know uh, is ajax meaning if the request is of type ajax or if if it is an ajax request then you know i can do pretty much the same thing except uh, the last redirect one uh, so i'll just uncomment these steps you know if if it is like uh, there is an issue right in here that is an intendation issue so i'll just you know intend all those stuff uh, correctly now which says if the request is ajax then uh, you know i'll instantiate that form again with the, the request at post you know again we are using a post request right in here uh, we have specified and those data will we are passing in uh, so we can get those data in the request or post attribute so and we say if the form is valid then we just save it into the database and instead of redirecting what we are going to be doing is we are sending a json response now you need to import the json response you know from jng.http import json response and in the json response what i'm going to do is i'm passing a dictionary and uh, you know we are expecting a message here a message attribute in here so i'll just say uh, the msg as the key then i'll say uh, success right i'm using a capital s here mm, yeah i'm using and you know i'll just send a json response now which means you know a json um you know object will be passed in here in this data now we can access you know it with dot syntax and you know we just access the msg attribute 
that we have passed in here which has you know success if it is success then we'll just say you know we'll just alert the user that the form is submitted now this is the whole logic behind it now uh, if i do save all those steps and if i refresh this page and I try to submit uh, and this time i'll say you know codeband at gmail.com then um hi there for instance and i just submit and it gives me that form is submitted alert message so if i go in come back in the administration panel i get the same exact result right in here so it is saved so this is you know all of these ajax and now you could add something like you know if you have a complex logic like you know uh, some other uh, uh, you know functionalities that you could use in here then you could simply you know uh, I, I'll just say you know override this stuff like if if it is success if the request is success I'll just uh, call a success handler a success handler itself and now I could just say you know create a function uh, with that success the name of success handler and I shall say I shall receive the data right in there and you know I'll just you know do the same uh, logic in there if you know uh, the data dot msg is equal to equal to success then we'll just alert the user that the form is submitted and now uh, this is up to you you know if you want to use it in here or you know if you have more uh, lines of code then you can use it as separate function so with this being said now uh, this will work as regular now if i do submit the form again then uh, i will get yes the same thing again now one thing you not here is you know if we already submitted the form but you know it doesn't clears uh, these fields so in order to do that i will just do you know um in in, in the uh, or I, I should say you know before the alert i will just you know uh, clear that form now that form is available right in here so i will just say that a form dot reset now which will reset those fields right in there now if i do it again like um, some blender data and if i do submit the form uh, i got that submitted and those clear those fields are cleared now if i go in here in the uh, you know the administration panel i get those elements right in there so this is all about you know handling ajax or integrating ajax with django and you know you could you could do there are certainly some uh, you know workarounds or uh, some some other things that you could do like you know if the form is not valid which means the else condition then you could probably you know send you know another JSON response with uh, the uh, form dot errors as the attribute and you can you know receive those in here and you could you know certainly do some validation stuff right in here that's up to you you know if you want to do those steps now with that being said this is all about you know the video and if you have any doubts or if you uh, you know fall into some errors while doing this you know please let me know in the comment section and uh, that's it guys and uh, if you like the video please don't hesitate to you know uh, uh, hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one